Hello everybody, I hope everyone is doing so well. My name is Cristo Nicolaio and today I have a beautiful word for you. It is so amazing. Basically, God is saying you're in close proximity to your blessing and he's in your neighborhood. Praise the Lord. So the Lord had given me a dream that correlated with the word that I uploaded recently titled, You Two Are About to Meet, God is Delivering Them. That word is so timely for somebody right now. It's unbelievable. God has just been confirming it left and right. But if you recall, I was in a parking lot. Then my spouse suddenly joined me and I saw another couple. And it was very much so giving. This is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Okay, so Fa Heavenly Father, thank you for today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We magnify your name, Father God. In despite of us, you love us. We thank you for dying your death on the cross. We thank you for blessing us abundantly and despite spite of ourselves Christ came in this world that we would have life and have it in its abundance not just having a lot of possessions but having health having the anointing of the Lord to trample on serpents and scorpions that nothing by any means shall harm us father God we magnify you we thank you for the power and the authority that you have given us we thank you for giving us an opportunity to continue living this life to magnify you to have another chance to see the glory of the Lord many people are downcast right now many people are feeling doubtful and even suicidal negative reports surround them on their left and on their right but no weapon formed against them shall prosper, Father God. I decree and declare that this word will destroy yokes. This word will be a rhema word on time and precise to them in the name of Jesus. This word will bring forth a quickening in their spirit in the name of Jesus. You hasten your word to perform it. I will not speak by my own might or by my own power, but by the very spirit of God in the name of Jesus. And they shall say that surely this is a word of the Lord. And I do not boast in myself, but I boast in you alone. What wisdom I speak of, let it be the wisdom as Solomon had wisdom, Father God. Hallelujah glory to God it is by your spirit I thank you for the life of this individual they will prosper they will prevail according to your will they will see the glory of God in the land of the living they will love you and serve you those whom you have chosen in despite of themselves even we don't when we don't have everything that we desire we glorify you because our lives could have been consumed we could have been tormented in hell even on this day to be judged by you to be casted into the lake of fire but father God you have given us another chance to glorify you and to serve you and to speak and to live move and have our being in you hallelujah so we give our lives to you our lives are not our own to you we belong so God set our gaze upon the Lord to seek first the kingdom of God and your righteousness in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah it's not about us it's not all about these blessings but there is a kingdom that awaits so prepare us for that kingdom. We thank you for the death that you died, Jesus Christ. We magnify your name. You are the way, the truth, and the life. And I renounce every doctrine of devil, every seducing spirit, every disillusioning spirit, every lying spirit that is upon the prophets of today, Father God. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord in righteousness and spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. So let your word come forth unto these people precisely and definitely and definitely yes and amen in jesus name hallelujah praise the lord so the other day i delivered a word that god had given me called you two are going to meet god is delivering them in the name of jesus hallelujah and if you had watched that you know that i had a particular dream if you did not i do suggest that you do perhaps it is for you if not i pray that you are located where the word does apply to you in the name of jesus because not every word is for you you have to test every spirit by the spirit of God, by the word of the Lord. Go before the throne and ask the Father if what you are listening to today, tomorrow, and any day to come, or whatever you have listened to in the past, be sure to know by way of his spirit, because he is not a God of confusion, be sure to know if you have taken up for yourself a word that applies for you indeed, okay? And if not, pray that God would set you free and bring you out of the alignment of the agreement of anything that has been sent of the devil, or has not been for you and may you know the season that you are in to stand as accurately as you ought to amen so anyway god had been saying to me that he is in my neighborhood and he's saying he is in your neighborhood to those who this is for right now god is saying he's in your neighborhood you are in the neighborhood of your blessing so in that word i spoke of being in a parking lot and walking on my own running away from the plots and plans of the enemy then suddenly being partnered with 
my God ordained spouse whom the Lord has revealed to me as he has for many of you guys. And this is not just a marriage word, but it is inclusive of that. And I also saw another couple. But my sister and her man, they recently posted some throwback pictures. And in one of the pictures in the set, they were in a parking lot. And I was like, holy cow. So my, my spirit eyes, just the spirit of God's eyes, it get, caused for me to be like, what? This is the God is start, he's starting to say something. This is not random. I know when it's you know, just something that's happening versus when it's of the Lord. And he calls for me to see that on purpose. And that is my sister. And God was saying it's in your neighborhood. So here's a couple that has been together for well over 10 years at this point. They've definitely had their ups and downs. I pray that they would say in their house, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I'm praying for them. Please pray for them if you are guided by God to do so. But I love her. She has such a big heart to serve and to give. And she's been an awesome aid to me. Like, I love my sister, Anita. So here they are, and they were in that parking lot together, and God was saying, it's in your neighborhood, a, a, a union that has longevity. You're in the neighborhood of that blessing, okay? You're, you're in the neighborhood of breakthrough. God is in your neighborhood, and when Jesus is in your neighborhood, things shift, things go down. There's Matthew chapter 14, verses 34 through 36, and... This is evidence. This is a scripture that provides evidence that when Jesus is around and people next to you are getting blessed, right? As so long as you have faith and as so long as it is the will of God, you too are in the premises of your own blessing. When they had crossed over, they landed at Gennesaret. Gennesaret? I don't know how to pronounce that, but you see it. Okay. And when the men of that place recognized Jesus, they sent word to all the surrounding country. When Jesus had come around, people brought all their sick to him and begged him to let the sick just touch the edge of his cloak. And all who touched it were healed. Hallelujah. So they had crossed over. And that's a little highlighter right there. Got to note that term because God gave me something else to mention about that. When he came around, many people were being blessed. So when Jesus was in the neighborhood, all who were sick, the people who were sick came to the Lord for healing. They were brought to the Lord for healing. And so God right now is in your neighborhood to bring forth healing, not only to the physical body, hallelujah, by his stripes, we were healed. We were healed already in the name of Jesus. Not only that, but he's healing sick hearts. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. But a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. God is fulfilling long-awaited desires. Hallelujah. He is healing the sick hearts by way of the manifestation of the thing that he has promised to you, by way of the completion of the thing that he has said he is completing in the name of Jesus. So when a people are in a neighborhood, they are of the same sort, okay, right? They're all enduring the same sort of climates, okay? So when you're in the same neighborhood as someone else, in this sense, you two may be of the same kin, in the same profession, or in the same season, enduring the same sort of warfare, the same sort of struggle, the same sort of stance, okay? In this word, that's what that means. So many a times, God, I, I baffle at God in awe of him because he is so precise when he partners the people together or even groups of people together who are standing for the same thing. It's like our situations will mirror each other so precisely, and God does it. And not every season that these people remain. Sometimes people are partnered with you till you get to the next place, and he gives you new characters to your story. And some people, it's for a long time, till y'all are gray and old. By, gra by the grace of God, I want this in my life, you know? But whatever God wills, so shall it be. But he partners people together, and I'm partnered with a few people right now who are going through the, the same exact thing. We could vent to each other and lift up, lift each other up. We can say, I'm going through this, girl, I'm going through it too. Girl, I'm praying for this, I'm praying for this too. Let's pray, where two or three are gathered in his name, there he is in the midst of them. Hallelujah. So when you, there's a story with Mary and Elizabeth. Elizabeth pregnant with John, Mary m pregnant with Jesus. Oftentimes you will be birthing the promise together with somebody else. Oftentimes when somebody next to you who God has partnered with you in a particular season and you two are at the brink of a breakthrough, many times the manifestation of their breakthrough is the evidence of yours. 
So as difficult as it may seem, praise the Lord because you know that you're coming up next. You know that Jesus is in the neighborhood. He has blessed them. So too shall you be blessed in the name of Jesus. So God is saying to some of you right now that he is in your neighborhood. He is in the neighborhood with your Elizabeth. He is in the neighborhood with you and Jonathan and David. He is in the neighborhood concerning the two of you to bring forth this breakthrough that will magnify him and give him the glory and develop his kingdom it will be a sign of his coming in the name of jesus and you know that this ministry indeed stands for marriages so hallelujah he was saying to me it's in your neighborhood crystal it's in your neighborhood you are in the premises of your breakthrough in this hour in the name of jesus so not only did i that did i see that picture of my sister but i also had a dream that i was literally in the neighborhood that god has shown me my house is at and he, sh he in the spirit he showed me the lock still on the gate he showed me as if i was literally just walking in that place it felt so real it was pretty crazy so i was in the neighborhood and I woke up meditating on that dream. I was about to schedule a tour to go in the place and not only like a window shop to look at it, but also taking steps to inhabit it completely. That's a whole nother testimony. But I woke up hearing the echo of what God had said about the day before. So I'm in the neighborhood. You're in the neighborhood of your blessing. That house is a blessing and I was in the neighborhood of my blessing. Many of you guys are in the neighborhood, okay? So... When you see other people around you being blessed, support them, okay? So into them, encourage them. It's not always easy, and it's not like, oh, I'm so jealous. But it's like, dang, I feel forgotten by God. But he never leaves, never forsakes. He is not a respecter of persons. So support them, encourage them, and sow into them, because you reap what you sow. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Double is your portion. Glory to God. Hallelujah, so... A few days ago, I hung out with Jeanette from Beam Your Light here on YouTube, and it was a very spontaneous thing. We planned it the day before, so on Sunday we planned it, and before we sat down and chilled, we were taking a spontaneous drive, and then she mentioned going to a particular street that's close to the house that the Lord has shown me in my spirit that I'm going to inhabit, possess, and own, okay? She was like, let's go over here. I was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, stop. She's willing to go over there. <laughs> How about I show her the house? Let's go to the house. And so we planned like the night before to officially hang out. It was a very spontaneous thing. All of a sudden, we're in the neighborhood of the house. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Now, physically, I'm in the neighborhood of the situation. So, yes, God is coming through. He's coming through to to shift things you're in close proximity of the blessing um it is coming together it is coming together in its completion now in the name of jesus and recently some days ago i had this crazy experience it was after releasing that word with the puzzle pieces probably the next day or two days later i had an out-of-body experience guys i don't think i've ever experienced one like this before i was sleeping i was taking a nap and my my spirit or soul i'm not sure the terminology precisely right now i found myself floating at the top of the room that i'm in right now like literally just kind of levitating at the top of this room and it wasn't no lucid dream no crazy stuff like that the devil is a liar but God took me out of myself. And you know how when you stand on a bed or you stand on a chair and you get this whole different view of a room, it's like, oh, snap, that's what it's like up here. That's what it's like for my angels. <laughs> that was my experience. I was, but in the spirit, I, my body was down there, but I didn't feel like I was in my body. I felt like I was my body. But I know within myself that my body is sleeping. There's no way I could be up high like this. So I see the bird eye view of this room and i'm looking around my room it was the craziest thing and as god has me up there i'm there trying to like grab the wall or try to get to the headboard to get back down to the bed and i couldn't god took me up and he said to me you are seated in high heavenly places you are seated in high places with me y'all that was resonating so profoundly in my spirit because if you watched the last word that I uploaded, God had me speaking about exaltation, how some of you guys have taken steps and God is exalting you. And the thing about this exaltation, it as a result of this exaltation 
and the glory of God, this next level of glory that you've entered into, some of you that you're about to enter into, it will result in the manifestation of what God has willed to come to pass in this hour. Hallelujah. Because when things are subject to change, when a certain level of glory is upon you, there's a set time for God's favor upon you and it's glorious. And as a result, I'm not into that law of attraction stuff. The devil is a liar. But as a result, what is for you locates you. What, it, what has your name upon it. In this time of exaltation, it locates you. And it, and it decrees and declares that it is time. God's word does not return unto him void. He is not a man that he should lie. Hallelujah. And as a result of Jehovah's manifesting power, I say Jehovah because that is the God above all gods. That is his name. When I'm talking about this stuff, I got to say his name, Yahweh. Away, Jehovah, as a result of this manifesting power by his might, you are exalted. So it's as if they trigger each other. And God gave me this image of I don't know what that thing is called, but I'm gonna put it on the screen like a symbol. I don't know, but just back and forth, they're just ricocheting off of each other, bouncing off of each other. And this is the harvest. This is what harvest looks like. And harvest is not just gathering the spoil, gathering the goods, but in this hour, God is in the business of harvesting souls, okay. God showed me rain in the land upon my arrival into the promised land but it was not he he made it so clear to me a few a month or so before I came in that it is the harvest of souls may we have a hunger and thirst to to bring the gospel to the people who need it to gather the souls who are on their way to hell broad is the pathway to destruction narrows the way to eternal life and few there are that find it and we are ambassadors of the gospel don't you dare remain silent in this time jesus christ is soon to return in the name of jesus let there be a quickening in your spirit i renounce the spirit of fear that will try to grip your tongue god says if you be ashamed of me i will be ashamed of you i will deny you if you deny me here on the earth let there not be blood found on your hands in this hour you see the times i pray that we don't become so numb to what is occurring in the land that we discard the the need for the gospel because people are dying left and right crime is increasing day by day and people need the words that you speak so i pray you dare speak up on a public platform or testify in person amongst people when they see you they will fear you for they will know that you have been called by god speak the word of the lord do not be afraid of what you need to say in this hour in that hour because in that hour the words will be given to you in the mighty name of jesus so this harvest yes it, it, it is god wanting us to bask in the fruit of our labor for us to see his goodness in our lives for us to testify of his goodness that the people would want to know him more but in the very end it it is for his kingdom it is for the souls that he loves let there be a harvest there's a harvest of souls because of these blessings that are about to come upon your life it is going to overtake you it is i hear a 24 hour turnaround you know i'm not saying in the next 24 hours i'm just saying that because of the the times and the, the way that things are happening so fast, God is doing a quick work just the same in the name of Jesus, okay? So there are things that are going to shift very quickly. There are things that are going to shift very expeditiously. The time is increasing, okay? So things will shift for you in a matter of hours, in a matter of a day. Um, elevation overnight. He had that on my spirit some days ago. Um, yeah, elevation overnight. So when he said to me, you're seated in high heavenly places, he brought me to Ephesians chapter two, verse six. That is the scripture and raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And when I looked at the commentary, many of them were talking about how Jesus went before us. And so through him, we are seated in high places because he is up there. But the way that God gave me that dream, he made it pretty clear that and I always perceived it this way, that we're seated in the high places even currently. Like in our spirit, man, we are elevated. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the rest of the world. I believe that we are in high places in the spirit. And I, I did come across a commentary. I was like, Lord, let me come across something that does align with what I perceive it to be. I'll put it on the screen and probably insert a snippet of my reading it. But I believe that's now. I believe we're elevated now and there's a set time for your elevation. For many of you guys who this word is for right now, for all who it is for right now, you are in your season of elevation. You have been elevated. Glory to God. So I was reading that and sometimes I read 
a lot in the word of God. Sometimes God will have me just focus in on a few scriptures or a certain passage. And as I was thinking it to be a brief thing, he told me, something just told me to keep reading. My flesh was like, we done, we done, we done. (laughs) We done, we done, we done, girl. But something prompted me i know it's the spirit of god but i didn't hear i don't feel like i heard his still small voice perhaps i did but i was like ah let me keep reading let me keep reading i feel like there's there's something else he brought me to ephesians chapter 2 verse 22 and it says and in him you two are being built together to become a dwelling in which god lives by his spirit so when i mentioned that god brought me to an article to gain some insight about the last word that I uploaded and it was written by a man who has the same name as my kingdom spouse Ephesians chapter 2 verse verse 22 was the scripture that he used in reference to God bringing a thing together bringing the body of Christ together but the God who brings things together ultimately for his glory so yet again completion he who began a good work in you will be faithful to complete it i'm paraphrasing i believe but god is completing it god is completing what he has begun in this hour i say this again even for these unions he is completing what he has begun in the name of jesus hallelujah for those of you who have waited so long those of you oh it's my season it's my season and it wasn't quite seeming as if it was or sometimes your heart was cleaving to a thing because you wanted it so desperately Or perhaps you misinterpreted a dream for those of you who are in the neighborhood and you know that you're in the neighborhood of your blessing. God is saying he is completing in this hour what he has begun. The vision is yet for an appointed time and that time is now. He will make everything beautiful in its time and that time is now. It is your time. It is your season. It is your season now in the name of Jesus. Now is the appointed time for that completion. Not for everybody, but for those of you who have the ear to hear, who are submitted to the Lord, who cleave to his voice. It is your time. It is your season. So lately, the craziest things have been happening since February 1st to February 8th. Over the course of those seven days, I recorded these notes on the 8th. So surprising news has just been i've just been finding out surprising things things that have been long overdue things that should have been taking things that could have been done so many times finally happened things that you would have thought somebody would have done a long time ago but they never did and it seemed like it would never happen it has happened so for example god used some worldly things to convey this message but eat the meat spit out the bones so I'm not into celebrity gossip and stuff, but Rihanna got pregnant, right? And (laughs) I pray God works that out for his glory in the end, you know, even though they're not married. It's a blessing to have a child and, you know, God's will be done. But when you look at her, you just never would think, probably she's just going to be one of them chicks who never have kids. And when I upload that word in the beginning, I mentioned how I was always good on my own. And I came so close. I was going to mention, I was like, Yeah, it's kind of like, you know how Rihanna's just always by herself and she could be with a guy or she could just be by herself. I was going to say, yeah, I'm I'm a lot like that. And then the next day I find out that she's pregnant. I was like, Lord, hallelujah. I mean, (laughs) the, the image of a pregnancy, the image of something coming forth. I'm like, you know what? Perhaps it's not going to be that way for me all the time. If she up and got pregnant and being fruitful and multiplying, even though it's outside of the will of the Lord, even though she's multiplying, she's multiplying. <laughs> Look, my time to multiply, my time to be with the man who God chose for me. That's my portion too. And it's coming upon me suddenly too. So she got pregnant. A friend of mine stepped into something that I never thought would she would ever do. It happened. I'm praying for her, but it happened. And then One of my family members who I never thought would commit after all these years got married. I I prayed and I prayed about that. And it all of a sudden news came. Yeah, we're married. I was like, what? What? It happened all of a sudden last week. They did it last week. And I was praying about that. And if God is doing it for, (laughs) yo, God is in the neighborhood. Okay. If God did it for him. How much more he going that he's doing it? I know God is working behind the scenes for me. If God answered a prayer that you prayed on behalf of someone else, you know, we know that God is working on it for us. Hallelujah. Us being children of God, how much more so 
He's doing a beautiful thing. Woman of God, you will be loved like Christ loves the church. Man of God, you will be loved how Christ wills for you to be loved. Hallelujah. By a faithful, God-fearing woman. Beautiful. In Jesus' name, amen. God is saying that he is causing for people to make moves. The things that you've been praying for them to do, he is causing for them to act on that thing. He is causing for things to move that have been in the same place for a long time. He is causing things to come together, hallelujah, by his might, by his power, because he wills it. It seemed as if it would forever be that way. It, would, it seems as if that person would have always remained the same way. But God is saying that even before you could perceive it, even before you believed it, hallelujah, hallelujah, it was done. It is happening now. It is coming together now. He is making that thing move. And then another friend of mine who she's what a year or two older than me. She got pregnant. Never thought that that would happen. Had a dream of her the night before. And I couldn't make sense out of why I saw her in my dream. The next day I find out she's pregnant. In the same, like within the time span of 10 minutes after finding out that this family member got married. I find out my friend got pregnant. But then I also found out on that same day that her mother had died months ago, though. And I pray she's resting in peace. I pray that she knew the Lord and I pray that she's sleeping in the presence of God. But she was battling cancer for a while. And yeah, I do pray that you pray her strength if you have that on your heart to do so. But God even ministered that to me. You know, if somebody's battling a sickness, I believe it gives them time to come to the Lord and, you know, reflect. And, you know, she was battling for a while. So it's a possibility that she had time to come to the Lord. There was, I believe that there was a sort of peace in her passing away, no longer having to fight that battle. But anyway, God ministered to me through that as well. You know, some things that you thought wouldn't have passed away some things that you thought wouldn't have died but in a good way concerning your life they have died and so with that god was saying to me quit grieving seasons that have passed and be careful not to align your present reality with someone else's it's over for you somebody else may be going through a certain thing that you did a while ago or in a former season but don't think oh my gosh it's happening for them this must still be my reality no you support them you pray for them you pray them through it because you went through it to uplift other people and for god's glory ultimately but some things have passed away and then i looked to my phone and i was trying to turn it on my the one i used for my notes and it was not turning on it was dead dead okay it was dead dead that's how i heard it okay <laughs> and like it wasn't even showing the low battery sign so i had to plug it in and t it took a minute before the thing came on god was saying it, it, that thing is so dead that former season that you fear repeating affliction will not rise up a second time okay it's it's gone just like when there's a second death there is no coming up from that there's no mercy there's no grace for those who have been judged and you know your situation is that bound there's no coming up for it again it is that bound it is passed away behold all things have been made new he has made the crooked pathway straight he is doing a new thing it, now is your appointed time for exaltation now is your appointed time for the completion of that which he has begun now is the appointed time for the pieces to come together now is the appointed time for jesus to pass by your neighborhood and bring about that shift abruptly hallelujah very speedily and quickly now is that set time now is your set time of favor as the lord has spoken it to you hallelujah god is not a man that he should lie so i praise the lord and i thank him for helping me bring this word together my flesh was wrestling against it for whatever reason but praise the lord it is finished and um i love you guys so much please do share this as you are led by the spirit of god to do so and may it be a blessing to you i love you guys so much my name is cristo nicolaio and that'll be changing soon boom 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 <laughs> later